Hello everyone, Silent here. Welcome back to another console edition tutorial. Today we have a very simple and what is possibly the best Enderman farm on console edition. This will get you to level 30 in just about 2 minutes and 30 seconds, which not only is the best XP farm that I have ever designed, it is the best XP farm that I have even heard about for console edition. So like I said, this farm is specifically for console edition. That is the Xbox One edition, the PS4, the PS3, the Xbox 360, the Wii U, and the Switch edition. <laughs> if you're playing on Java or Bedrock or Pocket Edition, visit the description. There's going to be uh, links to other tutorials made specifically for those platforms for your convenience. Before we get into all the details and all the technical know-how and the tutorial as well, if you guys could please leave a like on the video. If you like more tutorials and overpowered farms, that would be greatly appreciated as it really does help out the video and the channel an absolute ton. Maybe even consider subscribing to the channel, but anyway, that's enough shameless plugs. Let's move on. So here is the farm in all of its glory. As you can see, it is quite the small farm and that is intended um, to better fit our ends on the console edition. And also I removed the blocks down here so you guys can see the farm in action for longer than 30 seconds because that's about how long it takes for this farm to fill the mob cap. So down here at the bottom you can supply probably about two or maybe even more players with experience at the same time because you're going to be continually fighting the mob cap. You're never actually going to clear out your entire kill chamber at once um, because you cannot one hit kill these endermen. With a sharpness 5 sword and a strength 2 beacon or strength 2 potions you can kill the enderman in two hits and that is how you get the most efficiency out of your farm. So before I get a whole bunch of angry comments, yes this farm is inspired by Il Mango, just the general shape of it. Everything else has been um, tweaked and modified to better suit console edition and the efficiency and the weird quirks and everything on this edition. And also this is an improvement of my previous um, enderman farm which you can see here. This farm gets you to level 30 in about 4 minutes. And this one gets you to level 30 in about 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So it's almost double the speed of the previous design. So I could tell you a whole bunch of technical reasons and things and bore you to death about why this farm is so efficient. But I'm going to try and boil it down for you. So the main reason why it is so efficient is because the height that we are building it at is at the very bottom of the world. So you see the here that we are at Y level 15 and the uh, topmost part of the farm is at Y level 16. That means that it is in the bottom most sub chunk of the world and that the spawn algorithm for spawning mobs like those guys up there goes as fast as it possibly can. If you were to build this one block higher or any higher at all, then uh, the spawns would just basically disappear and you would not get any efficiency out of this. All right, so on to the tutorial. Now, the first thing you want to do with this farm is find yourself a place to build it. So you're going to want to go to one of the corners of your end island, your main end island or maybe one of the cities and find an area where you don't have to mine out too much. Now this is pretty much a perfect area right here. There's just a couple little overhangs, but overall it's pretty much completely hollowed out. So this is pretty much ideal. You will need to remove these things right here and you'll also need to condition the main end island as well. Um, so I would suggest torches. It took me about an hour and a half in survival to completely torch the entire island to prevent spawns. However, you can also use slabs if you feel like it, but Honestly, it's a pretty big island. That'll take you probably about six or so hours, maybe less if you have friends, or you could put uh, water over the entire island. I would not suggest water because it's extremely painful, and also you need Death Strider and infinite water sources, and honestly, it's just a pain, and it doesn't look so great. So now it is time to get the infrastructure in for your Enderman farm. So you need to get down to Y level two, the current lowest point that you can get on console edition. You currently cannot go any lower than that. So in order to get down to Y level 2, you're going to need to find a pretty low point and set yourself down a lava bucket. Wait a couple seconds for it to branch out in all the directions and uh, go down by a couple. So now what you're going to do is leave a two block gap and place down a water bucket. That's going to create yourself a cobblestone pillar going all the way down as far as you can go. Once all of that has turned into cobblestone and all the water and stuff has stopped flowing, you can then remove the lava. So just basically do that and uh, just, you know, pillar all the way down. And that is pretty much that. I would suggest leaving the water there so you have a, a uh, way back up. Anyway, once you got that, it is time to make yourself a little bit of a safety platform. Make this whatever size you like. You're then going to need to figure out where your endermen are going to be falling. So these three blocks right here are where our endermen are going to be falling. We're going to be standing right here to kill the endermen. 
Now you need to make sure that there are eight blocks off to either side, so eight blocks off to the right side and eight blocks off to the left side, and also make sure that there are 24 blocks out the back side of this. And uh, the reason why we need to do that is because there are world borders um, on console edition. So if we just fly off into this corner, you can see that we are the furthest out that we can possibly go, um, which is kind of disappointing. Once you're absolutely positive that you have enough room around your farm to actually build it and not run into any world borders, you're going to set up a very simple kill chamber right here. Uh, these three hoppers right here are where your endermen are going to be following. You can stand in this general area and just kill them all. All the drops go into basic storage. You can expand that into whatever you like. And the glass panes right here prevent the endermen from being able to hit you. Also, I would suggest wrapping this in some form of hard to mine blocks such as um, obsidian or wood or iron blocks because you don't want to accidentally break these things while you're trying to hit your enderman. That is something that I do all the time. I highly recommend maybe just putting obsidian there just so you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Seriously, it's actually a legit problem. So now it's time for the drop shoot. You can build this out of any solid blocks you like, but normally you build this out of glass just because it looks nice. So you need this general three by one shape right here, and then you're just going to carry that up by two and then skip two blocks like so, or you can fill it all the way in if you like, but this is just the bare minimum, so that's what I'm going to be showing you guys. <laughs> um, so there you go, that general shape, and then you need two more rings above this, one right here, and then one at the very bottom of your spawn platform as well. So this one is a little bit different. You're going to skip uh, the corner blocks there, and then you just fill in that block right there. So it's already time to start on your spawn platforms. Now, one thing that's very important to note is that you build your spawn platforms at Y level 15 or below. Um, that way you get the proper rates out of your farm. So the first thing you're gonna do is make the little funnel hallway for your enderman. This is nine blocks long by three blocks wide. So three, four, and then just fill it in, of course. And there we go, nine blocks long. So then on the end of this, you wanna go out by one extra block and then to either side of this is go out by seven. And then of course you need to make this 15 blocks long as well. So that is one. And that is conveniently lined up with the world border as well. And of course you need to fill that in. At this point you should have a platform that looks a little bit something like this. And now it is time to completely surround this in cobblestone walls. You can also use fence posts if you like, but uh, cobblestone is a little bit cheaper and it kind of goes with the slabs. So the main reason why we need this is because endermen that spawn on the sides here um, sometimes run around in circles when they aggro from the endermite and that causes them to fall off the edge. So this basically is just a guardrail for them and keeps them all inside the farm. So of course you need to do that on the side as well. If you can, you would also put cobblestone walls around the back side of this as well, but as you can see, we cannot because uh, world borders are a thing. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. The world border works just fine, if not actually a little bit better than the cobblestone walls. Okay, so now that you have all of your cobblestone walls in place, you're going to want to thoroughly light up your spawn platform so that no endermen spawn whatsoever because you don't want any of those guys up here at this point in the project. So at the very end here, make yourself a two block tall wall and place a rail on the center. Make sure the rail is um, sitting to the side. Now you're gonna want to make yourself a little bit of a chamber and make sure that the walls on this are two blocks tall as well so your endermite does not escape. So basically you need to throw ender pearls and you have a 5% chance of getting an endermite. I remember, if I remember correctly. <laughs> and uh, yeah, basically just get some rails down in here and keep throwing yourself some ender pearls. If you have feather falling on your boots, you will not take as much damage from the ender pearls. All right, so we got ourselves an endermite and it has also been name tag. So basically just place a minecart under it. It should hop right in. And then you wanna move over to the front side of the farm and just do a few modifications. So you need a block to either side of that rail so that the endermite doesn't move at all. And then you wanna also modify your rail to actually allow the endermite to get to that rail right there. So then basically push him or get a powered rail or something and get him to that rail and then just remove your endermite catchment area, which should not be a big deal whatsoever. All right, so now place a trap door right here. That's gonna make all of your endermen think that they can walk up to this endermite and be able to kill it, but actually they're just gonna fall down into your kill chamber and get slaughtered, which is kind of fun. <laughs> uh, so on top of each of these blocks here, including that rail right there, you want double carpets. 
and that's going to prevent Enderman spawning and also Enderman teleporting. And then you also want a slab at this layer right here and then a double carpets on top of that as well. The reason why we need the slab there is because you don't want any Enderman to actually be able to stand here or be able to teleport there. So that is why. All right, so that is actually your entire farm complete. And uh, basically now you can just go ahead and remove all your lighting and that will activate your farm. And as you can see, this thing, it does spawn. This one's mostly taking up the cap, but uh, yeah, if we disabled that one, this one would be just as fast, very fine. So now it's time for just some last minute details about the farm. You're definitely gonna want to get some carpets on top of your hoppers because as you can see, uh, they hold XP. So boom, put some carpets on top of those. Also your area down here, you can expand into whatever you like, have brewers or libraries or enchanting or whatever you like. And your ceiling is gonna have to be two and a half blocks tall. And uh, yeah, basically just make that out of slabs or you can do just, you know, two blocks tall or whatever you like, but um, doing it out of slabs just gives you a little bit more headroom, which is kind of nice. So on top of this, you can either do water for a wet ceiling that will prevent spawns and teleporting, or you can do double carpets again, which is honestly the best way to go and carpet isn't too expensive. Um, if you do water, your ceiling is also gonna drip. So keep that in mind. Not really a big deal, but you know, sometimes that might actually affect your uh, everyday life anyway. <laughs> uh, so as for the sword that you're gonna wanna use for this, you're definitely gonna want sharpness five and then unbreaking, mending, and looting. Those are just side like accessory enchantments. You do not want fire aspect on your sword um, because if you hit these guys with fire aspect, they're just gonna teleport back up to your spawn platform and then die up there, um, actually significantly reducing the amount of XP that you get. And also, you're going to want strength too to make sure that you can actually kill these guys in as few hits as possible. If you don't have strength too, again, it's going to significantly slow down the rate at which you get experience. As you can see, this thing is absolutely pumping out the Enderman. It is kind of going crazy with it, which is really nice. I hope you guys really do enjoy this in your world because it is one of the better ones, if not the best Enderman farm out there. Uh, really, the only con to it is the killing speed, so maybe get two players or something like that. I tried a lot of ways to get them down to one hit, but nothing was really working. Anyway, if you guys got any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it down in the comment section. If you liked the video, leave a like, maybe get subscribed to the channel because that kind of stuff really does help me out an absolute ton and helps our community grow. We're getting pretty close to 5k. That would be pretty cool to hit. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you guys down in the comments and in the next video. Thank you for watching. And then there was silence.